I consider AI as a as something that has a multiplier effect on both the speed and the scale of innovation. And you know, healthcare faces a myriad of challenges and having that ability to accelerate, which is speed, but then also expand and, 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 and enable access for others, which is scale, is something that AI is gonna be very, it's gonna be a force to reckon with. I tend to be very curious about people uh, even sometimes, maybe even more than certain aspects of, uh, you know, business. Healthcare felt like the right area to be passionate about, to be able to get out of bed every day, to feel excited to go to work every day, to feel excited to talk to people every day. And it just had that right ingredients where I could use my training in software and business, but also then be able to add this extra dimension of healthcare. It seems very rewarding. It has this sort of purposefulness to it. Uh, it started with looking at AI as a vehicle to understand patients better. Um, the, if you can understand the patients better, then you can diagnose their disease states better. And it sort of then progressed from that point onwards to then look at, could you use AI to help adjudicate the risk of existing products better? And so it sort of helped essentially accelerate clinical trials and regulatory approval type sort of areas better. Uh, but lately, uh, the area of AI that we're most focused on are around using AI to understand surgical workflows. And for the inexperienced doctors, this will be an immediate adoption curve. So that sweet spot is doctors that believe in new technology, but don't sort of have that confidence and proficiency yet, they are the ones that we think are gonna be the early adopters, but as the time goes by, our ability to keep up is gonna be, is gonna dwarf doctors' ability to learn on their own. AI essentially multiplies other people's ability to think rapidly, which will mean that we can develop products faster, we can identify opportunities faster, we can get them through the pipeline faster. When we talk about those products, uh, to others, they, they don't believe it because it's sort of at the cutting edge of innovation and cutting edge of even realization of risk. Better diagnostics are obviously going to be playing a critical role in adoption of AI, preventative medicine and diagnostic, particularly if you have areas where there is high fidelity imaging needed. AI simply does this based on the data that we feed it. So if, there, if you don't have the data, to train AI, you're simply not going to be able to get the intelligence. And data is buried in disparate, you know, locations, uh, protected by uh, localization laws, privacy laws, and things of that nature. And the infrastructure needed to essentially harness that data and then be able to use it to train AI is pretty expensive. So my view is that you start small, but your vision should be long. And so you should start doing what you can do with what's available to you. And then as the critical mass starts to form, other pieces automatically start to fall in place. And as you start to develop multiple ideas in using AI and start to commercialize them, start to demonstrate success in the marketplace, the other barriers slowly but surely start to melt away. This is a collective effort. The products, innovation that we bring to the market that I work on, I have a privilege to work on, they are, they are intended to enhance the effectiveness of medical community 